The 17 News at Sunrise podcast is brought to you by Aspire Counseling Services. Call 829-7300. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning. A Truth Act community forum in Bakersfield met for officials to explain how local law enforcement enforcing state laws to protect immigrants and public safety. It continues this morning. It will tell you where and how you can take part. A project to provide clean water in Arvin 10 years in the making. And now the boost the community needs to finally make it happen will explain. An exciting and historic season for the Condors has come to an end. We'll take you to last night's final game in San Diego. This is Tuesday, May 14th, 2019. Good morning. Great to have you with us. I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher and Kevin Shred. So, so sad. To and see it comes to, to an end. Exactly. What a great thing it was. And yeah. it was a great series, too. I mean, they really put up a fight, uh, especially in this latest round. Yeah, I mean, they were down and just kept on going. And, uh, hey, you know, in sports, there always has to be, unfortunately, a loser. <laughs> right. And it, unfortunately, it just, you know, it was the Condors. But, hey, they should be proud for their season. Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. Everything they accomplished. So, uh, switching gears a little bit, some change in the weather forecast. Not today, though. You're going to see another uh, sunny and uh, warm day, but as we head into tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, that's when we see the change, and it could be somewhat of an active May as we go throughout the end of the month as well. We're looking mm. more like February than May right now. In so terms weird. Of, yeah. <laughs> We're going to start out in the 60s, and then throughout the afternoon, we'll be in the mid to upper 80s here in the valley. By 3 o'clock, a northwest wind at 5. And then for the Tehachapi area, you're at 50 right now. No winds. I do expect the winds to pick up throughout the day, though. And uh, we take a look at the temperatures. You're expecting the lower 70s throughout the afternoon. All right, now to some breaking news in the 2020 race for the White House. Montana Governor Steve Bullock has announced he's running for president. He's the 22nd Democrat to throw his hat in the ring. In a video posted online, Bullock outlined a campaign to take on money and politics and push progressive policies from his red state perspective. A desperate search for two people continues this morning in Alaska after a deadly midair crash. The U.S. Coast Guard says two float planes collided in flight yesterday afternoon near Ketchikan. A total of 16 people were on board the planes. Four died and two are still missing. The passengers on one of the planes were from the Royal Princess cruise ship who were taking a shore excursion tour of Alaska's Misty Fords. The second plane was on an independent tour. NTSB investigators are headed to Alaska to try and figure out how and why the crash happened. The Arvin Community Services District's getting a big boost to help provide people with clean water. The State Water Resources Board has loaned the district more than $14 million. That money will go toward a clean water project. It will consist of three new wells, a 1 million gallon storage tank with a booster pump, and new sewer lines. The district says this project has been 10 years in the making. Groundbreaking for the project is set for 6 p.m. Thursday at the corner of Sycamore Road and Walnut Drive in Arvin. It is 507 and it's a chance for officials to explain just how much local law enforcement is enforcing state laws aimed at protecting both immigrants and public safety. These Truth Act community uh, forums are held all around the state. California law says agencies and local governments must be transparent about how they work with immigrations and customs enforcement. The first forum in Kern County happened back in December and the second one started last night at a special board of supervisors meeting. It'll continue at the regular Board of Supervisors meeting this morning. It all starts at 9 a.m. in the Supervisors Chamber on Truxton Avenue. Bakersfield Police will be checking, uh, cracking down on people driving under the influence. The department plans to conduct a DOI and driver license checkpoint from 6 to midnight tonight at an undisclosed location within Bakersfield city limits. People caught driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol can face jail time, fines, and expenses up to $10,000. Please say announcing these checkpoints ahead of time is an effective deterrent. It helps reduce DUI-related crashes by up to 20 percent. 508 Now Education News. Thousands of Kern County High School seniors are set to receive their diplomas this month. The Garces Rams are kicking off graduation season tonight. Their ceremony is set for 730 at Robba Bank Convention Center. Most of the students in the Kern High School District will graduate in about two weeks on May 29th, 30th, and 31st. And we've posted a list of all of the commencements. You can find that on our website, kget.com. Just click on the hot link icon. It's really hard to believe that we're already here at graduation season. So many fun commencements happening over the next several weeks. Yeah, it is really flown by this year has. It's crazy to believe it's almost summertime. Yeah, we're looking forward to our big graduation newscast out at the CSU. Be commencement ceremonies on May 24th. So yeah, be next sure to Friday. join us for that.
Hi, I'm Scott with Aspire. I want to personally thank Kern County for trusting Aspire with being a part of your family's recovery. At Aspire Counseling Services, we take this opportunity very seriously and would be honored for your continued support. Call us today. 520 Sports News Now. A storied season for the Condors has come to an end. After winning in double overtime Saturday night, the Condors needed a win again last night. The San Diego Goals got things started early, though, scoring several goals in the first period. Bakersfield entered the second period down 3-1. to one. 18 teams have come back from a 3-1 to one deficit in the Calder Cup playoffs, but the Condors just weren't able to pull it off, falling 6-2 to two to the goals. As a, as a whole, you know, it was a really good season. Um, definitely all improved from last year as individuals and as, a, as an organization and as a group. So Set out to make the community of Bakersfield proud of us. And um, while we fell short of our ultimate goal, I believe that we accomplished the goal of revitalizing hockey in Bakersfield and uh, putting this team on the map and also making that community proud of us. This was Woodcroft's first season coaching the Condors. He joined the team about this time last year, and this is what he had to say last May about getting to the after party. But I'm clear on my mandate, which is to develop players but to do so in a winning environment. I think that's so key uh, f for what we're trying to do here in Bakersfield. And rest assured that we will ice a team that this community can be proud of. They certainly have done that. That mm -hmm. community is very proud. The goals will now play Chicago in the Western Conference Finals. The winner of that series goes on to represent the Western Conference in the Calder Cup. Well, despite the tough final loss of the season, fans in Bakersfield decked out in orange and blue. They gathered to cheer on their home team. 17's Karen Waugh has fan reaction. While some fans streamed the game online at AHL TV, fans came out en masse to Track House, the only place in Bakersfield that broadcasted the game publicly. A sea of blue and orange bursting with Bakersfield pride. They represent not only... Bakersfield. They represent the Central Valley. The game had fans on the edge of their seats for the make it or break it moment of the AHL Calder Cup playoffs. This is a record year. It's been a long time. The last two years we didn't even make playoffs. How does it feel to watch the Condors go so far this year? It feels great. I mean, it's, it's been a long time since we've been in this situation, and uh, I wish I was in San Diego watching the game live. For those who couldn't make it to the away game, the watch party brought together fans young and old, including the famous dancing granny. Okay, you got to take a photo of me. It was great to have this whole house just full of people. Every time they scored, everybody roared. You heard the noise. To come and uh, share with the others that are here for the same reason. This is awesome. Though the game ultimately ended with a loss, this record Condor season was still a win for Bakersfield. We had a really good run, so I just hopefully we can do better next season. Win or lose, congratulations Condors on an incredible season. I'm Karen Hua, 17 News. It was definitely an incredible season. Well, Bakersfield native Cody Kessler has a new job in the NFL. The Jaguars released Kessler last week, but he's already signed on to the Philadelphia Eagles. The quarterback joined the NFL in 2016, playing first for the Cleveland Browns. He completed 64% of his passes with eight touchdowns and five interceptions. Before all that, he was a top player at Centennial High School. If you want to see some of his old school highlights, you can just check out our PGET Facebook page. It was really neat to see all of his old highlights yesterday. Yeah. Well, check your Twitter profile because users uh, may want to check their privacy settings. The social media platform has admitted it may have accidentally collected and shared some location data from users. Twitter says it discovered a bug in a portion of the iOS user base, which may be to blame. Users with more than one account were most likely affected, particularly ones who used the precise location feature in one account. Twitter says the data couldn't be used to determine an address or precise movements. The company confirmed no location data was retained by the partner and only existed in their systems for a short time. The bug has since been fixed. If you want to be a barista, Starbucks in Lebec is hiring. The coffee chain's holding a recruitment from 1 to 6 p.m. tomorrow at the store on Dennis McCarthy Drive. The store's looking for baristas and shift supervisors. If you're interested, you can apply ahead of time by going to Starbucks.com careers and apply to the store number on your screen 06689. 
Investors looking to breathe new life into the vacant East Hills Mall are out of luck for the time being. Several people showed up to bid on the 350,000 square foot property at auction yesterday, but it was abruptly canceled. 3,000, 3,200 Mall View Road, Bakersfield, California, 93306. No warranty is given as to completeness or correctness of this address. Sale of this property has been postponed until May 20th, 2019 at this same time and place due to beneficiary's request. Documents show a notice of default was issued. Developers stopped uh, payments on a $7.5 million loan for a redevelopment project earlier this year. Potential bidders say they have a plan for the property should they win it in auction. It just hasn't been managed right. I build homes up there, probably uh, 50, 1,500 square foot homes with a park and stuff and really make, help e- make East Bakersfield look good. We reached out to the current owners for comment but have not heard back. The new auction date is set for 10 a.m. on Monday. The 17 News at Sunrise podcast is brought to you by Aspire Counseling Services. Call 829-7300.